Okay, we're going to do surface area of pyramids and cones. So surface area, this is bigger here. Uh, the directions here actually say find the lateral area. So um, remember we did lateral area for this. So I'm going to use LA. Lateral area is one half PL perimeter. Perimeter times L. L is the slant height, okay? So let's label here. Uh, the 11.2, that is our L. That's our slant height. Remember, slant height goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the side, and it makes a right angle, okay? So this right here, that is our slant height, okay? When it talks about perimeter, it's talking about perimeter of the base figure. So remember in the first lesson, we identified names of shapes by knowing the base. In this case, the base figure is that equilateral triangle. So each side here is seven. So the perimeter of the base is seven times three, which is 21. The slant height, is the 11.2. So all we do to get lateral area is we plug that into the formula. So one half perimeter, 21, slant height, 11.2. So we're gonna type that in on the calculator because it says round here. So we'll do that. So point, sorry, point 0.5 times 21 times 11.2 gives me 117.6. So my slant or lateral area is 117.6. Now, remember lateral area is the area going around the shape. All surface area is for these surface area. So I'm going to write this in red down here. Surface area is the lateral area, which we just found plus big B. Big B is the area of the base, which is that equilateral triangle. So when you do big B here, big B is going to change. The formula for this depends on the shape. Well, in this case, since it's a triangle, it's one half base times height. So if I look at this triangle, here's my base, and this is the height of that triangle. So now I have, okay, so I know that was kind of extensive, but that's, that's kind of where we're at. Okay, let's go to problem number two. So we're using the same formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is lateral area. So lateral area is one half PL. Here's my L. There's my slant height. Perimeter so I've got, I'll do blue here, two, 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 two. So my perimeter here, I'll write it underneath, is two times four, which is eight. So my lateral area is one half times eight times 2.2. .2. So times eight times 2.2, .2, and that gives me 8.8. .8. Then surface area, is the lateral area, which is that number. Sorry, it's not writing. Plus big B. Okay, big B in this case is, that's a square. So a square is just length times width, which in this case is two times two. So now I have eight point, oops, point eight plus and then two times two. Two times two is four. If I add that to that, I get 12.8, and there's my surface area. So a little bit faster there now that we know the formula. Okay, number three, lateral area is one half PL. Okay, here's my L, and oh, Sorry, this right here, this is a mistake. 
that right there is supposed to be 5.2 also. Sorry about that. That was a misprint. Okay. So make sure you correct that on your notes. So I've got one half perimeter to get perimeter. That's four. That would be three. That would be four. And that would be three. So if I add all those together, that's six, 10, 14. So 14 and then 5.2. So if I do that, that's 36.4. Now do surface area, which is that number, plus big B, since B here is a Rectangle that again is length times width. So I've got 36.4 plus length here is 4, width is 3, so 4 times 3 would be 12. Add that, and that's going to give me 48.4. Next one. So lateral area is one half PL. Okay, here's my L. Uh, perimeter. See the perimeter. This is eight. There's one, two, three, four, five of those. So perimeter would be eight times five, which is forty. So one half times forty times ten point six. So 0.5 times 40 times 10.6 is 212. Then surface area, again, is that number, 212 plus big B, which is the area of the base. Now the base here is a regular polygon. So this is the 1 half PA. This is what we did in 11.4. So this is my apothem. The perimeter here is the same as this perimeter. So it's 212 plus then 1 half times 40 times the apothem, which is 5.5. .5. So I just type all that in, 212 plus. I'm going to type it all in together on the calculator, so I'm using my parentheses. And I got 331 total. All right, next one. So very similar to the previous one. Lateral area is 1 half PL. Okay, perimeter. So again, this is a 6. There's 2, 3, Four, five, six sides. So perimeter is six times six, which would be thirty-six. And right here is my slant height. So one half thirty-six times thirteen point one. Top all that in. Two thirty-five point eight. Now I get surface area, which is that number, plus big B. Big B here, again, that's a regular polygon, so I'm using the 1 half PA. So the perimeter here, again, is that. The apothem is this number right here. So I've got 235.8 plus... One half times thirty six times the five point two. So type all that in on the calculator. Plus six times five point two. Add that to the two thirty five point eight, and I get three twenty nine point four. All right, one more. Uh, this is a cone. So it's the same principle, okay, 
lateral area is one half, but we don't do perimeter for a circle, okay? We do circumference. So circumference in this case, since that is r, is 2 pi r. So this ends up being 1 half times 2 pi r times the slant height, which is this 13.4. So I type all that in. So we are rounding here, so you do use the pi button on your calculator. So r here, remember r is 6, so I'm going to plug 6 in right there. So when I do all that, rounded to the nearest tenth, I got 252.6. So there's lateral area. So again, surface area is that number plus big B. Now big B here is the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. That's the formula. So I have 252.6 plus pi times 6 squared. So again, you're going to use pi button on your calculator. So 252.6 plus pi times 6 squared. If I do all that together, then I got 365.7. So I know it's quite a bit there, but... Uh, Got to remember chapter 11 to do chapter 12 stuff here.